did it. Hey guys, so uh, what's all the excitement about? Well, something came today that I am super excited about. Uh, well, it came a couple days ago, actually. But uh, the part we've been waiting for to get the UTV back and running. Boy, I've missed this thing. Uh, so it took a while because it came from China. Uh, the only place I could find it. The uh, manufacturer only sold the entire throttle body kit. I told you about that in the video before, I think. Um, and so I didn't want to spend whatever, three or $400 for that when I needed a $19 part. Of course, I did end up replacing a bunch of other parts too, but that's besides the point. Uh, I am where I am now. And uh, anyway, this little guy right here, we think, I think, is the issue. Um, it's the uh, throttle uh, idle controller. It senses, uh, right here, this kind of is a little, uh, provides a little uh, resistance uh, in the electrical connection, and tells the, the computer, the ECU, that uh, uh, where, where the throttle is uh, in motion when it's at idle. That's what I'm having the problem is the thing uh, doesn't want to run. So we're going to replace this and uh, I hope this fix is it. Uh, let's get to it. Let's get started. TWC project and hopefully this one's a success because I don't want to make another one of these uh, troubleshooting ones for the UTV. I love this thing and uh, need it back and running. So hang in there and uh, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, it was, it's quite a bear getting down underneath there and um, getting uh, access to, <laughs> to the parts you need to get to. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to show you and tell you, of course, here's the old one I took off. One of the things I did that makes me pretty confident this is the part that's bad is um, I put an ohm meter on here and, uh, and then adjusted. And when I got down to the one end, it's supposed to be, I think, the idle end, it was just intermittent flaky. It, didn't, it wasn't making the, the signal wasn't coming back right. It, it should be a steady resistance that goes up and then comes back down in terms of um, uh, the electrical resistance. So I should have tried it with a new one. I didn't think about doing that, but I've got it on there now. Um, and we're going to back this thing up to the door so the exhaust can go outside a little bit. Uh, I don't have an exhaust tube, which I need to get at some point so I can run automobiles inside without getting carbon dioxide. <laughs> So I'm going to take it to the door. It's cold outside. I've been running the heater in here. But um, anyway, uh, we're going to start it and see if it'll run. It's been a while, so uh, might not fire the first shot. But uh, fingers crossed. I know we've been down this path. You've experienced it <laughs> at least two or three times before. So anyway, hopefully this is it. Let's give it a shot.
let's see if it works. <sighs> so good so far, but we've been here before, right? It'll idle high. Once it warms up though, let's see what it does at low idle, that's where we have the problem. I'll let it warm up a bit because it's still pretty cold and it's been sitting a long time. All right, so let's give it a try. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, I ran it a moment ago, and then I'm gonna try to run it again now. And, uh, it's warmed up a little bit, and I wanna show you that the, um, the check engine light down here is not on, so that's a really good sign. Um, it's idling a little bit rough, but that's probably not unusual, actually, now that I think about it, especially for the cold. And it seems like I can rev it up again, so let's try it real quick. And it's not it's not stalling out. So uh, what do you say we take this thing for a ride? I think we're fixed. We'll see. I'd call that a success. Feels pretty good. <laughs> that feels really good. Um, the transmission's a little stiff just because it's so cold. Uh, you know, it's still in the 20s. Uh, actually, it's probably probably about right around freezing right now. Probably gotten up to low 30s at this point. So, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I'm just excited. I'm going to call that a success. I didn't really have to do anything. I thought I was going to reset the, the ECU and all that stuff. Uh, didn't need to do that. Um, just uh, putting, replacing that part made the engine light go off, um, let it warm up for a little bit, and then took it out, and it seems to be working perfectly. So I'll try a little bit more, but um, <laughs> this is really good news, um, and I'm super excited. I think, uh, I think you'll all be happy to see this thing running again. You know how much I use it, like almost every video it was in until the last, uh, you know, two months when it's been dead. So uh, it's great to have it back. And uh, I'm glad you got a chance to see it running again and didn't give up. I've heard a few people say, you know, it's a, an expensive lawn ornament. Yeah, I, I hear you um, in the comments. But, uh, but I'll tell you what, when it's running, it's the best thing ever. And, uh, you know, the technology part, I definitely am seeing uh, the reality of getting something that's high tech like this with all electronic fuel injection and so forth. It definitely 
has its benefits, but also has its curses. Like when something starts to go wrong, it's really hard to um, figure out what it is and then, uh, you know, get it fixed, get the parts, uh, you know, the electronic parts fail a lot easier than mechanical parts. So uh, definitely changed my view on that. And I think I'll be, um, I'll definitely be uh, cognizant of that with the next thing that I buy. So, um, and, uh, and that's a little more to come on that. You're going to see something um, I finally, finally done. You're going to see in a video soon. All right. So thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for uh, <laughs> hanging in there with me on, on TWC projects. Uh, you know, create things, fix things like this today. Uh, enjoy uh, God's nature outside and just have a great week. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, and, you know, something else I see other folks say, not just subscribe and ring the bell and, and like, you know, yeah, definitely do those things. But uh, if you like some of this stuff or you think a friend of yours might be interested, please hit the little share and, and send it to them. Um, that's how this stuff kind of spreads around a little better. And I don't have, you know, the big visibility a lot of people do, but hopefully you enjoy the content. I work, I try to work hard on it, and uh, it takes a bit to produce it, but um, I love it. It feels good when it's done, and I know I'll be able to look back on it. My, my kids will be able to look back on some of these videos. They probably think they're silly right now, but when they get older, they'll enjoy seeing them. So uh, I'm glad you're watching. Uh, it encourages me to keep making more. Um, so thank you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now. did it.